Hey everybody, T-Shirt Booth here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to determine what device your um, user is uh, on. And uh, the reason why you might want to do this sometimes is you'll have some special effects that look really good and work really well in like an iPhone 4 or iPhone 3rd gen, uh, and not so well on the other devices. Um, so you, this is a way for you to figure out what they're on. You can turn those effects on or off. So this is an iPod Touch, uh, second generation. And what I'm going to do is when I touch this, it's going to spawn as many squares as it can in two seconds, and then keep count of them. Press it here. So 58, it can spawn 58 squares in two seconds. Um, so you'll have this running in the background of your opening splash screen, um, so nobody will see it, but that, that count is game.count, and it will it'll keep track of that. Um, and so later on, you can say if you know if game dot count is under sixty five, you know don't use these effects, and if it's greater than sixty five, use these effects. And I'm going to show you on an iPhone four. Let's load it up here. So this is an iPhone four. Do the same thing. 76, so it's much higher. Um, so now I, I can say if game.count is you know greater than 65, use these effects. Uh, otherwise, do not. Um, so it's a good way to figure out what they're what they're using um, and adjust your 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 effects uh, to their performance. Um, so that way you don't have to limit your game to uh, only higher end devices. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to. Uh, uh, ask and I'll answer as soon as I can. Thanks.